Right, hey guys, and welcome back to episode 11 Fountain Valley Farm. So in this episode, it's late summer. We need to get those bales in today. And... I think we're probably going to be leaving Fountain Farm. I know it's late on now. But... I want to try and get another map done before the release of 22, which is imminent in about six weeks. So, what's growing? That's nearly ready. So, what I'm going to do is... I am going to... Make so many animals so half as nice which the not I'm going to feed the animals and then I'm going to start getting them bales up which this grass has grown back again Still got the vulture, aren't we? And then I think Yes. I think what I'm going to do is just start prepping out for the next map. The farm did receive a letter the other day. We had a letter we had the a letter to say that the milk not the milk but the dairy officers will be coming round sometime. They didn't tell us when they would be doing. As I know from experience, they just turn up, so it might well be in this episode. Which is why I need to make sure everything's to tip-top condition. And I also had an interesting letter from... And this is now me role-playing. I also had an interesting letter from Clarkson about setting up setting up farm over there not permanently just for a couple of weeks days however long we want basically to see if we like farming just to get used to different farming styles really so I've sent a letter back saying that it will be a joy It'd be a joy to come. So, I am just waiting a response. But, this episode all being well, we should be leaving the farm. So have they got food? Yes. So 
So I am going to do this draw. We took, we got an A, yes. We haven't got a mixture for it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up to the star. Really quickly for a straw blower. And then I'll probably get back. And we'll start picking up all them straw bales in the top field. So I will see you in a minute. It will go on to a time lapse. I'll see you in a minute. Back at the farm again. I have to sneak through these crops. So I will. I'm hoping that this bale splitter thing works. I've not actually tested it, so I don't know if it does. If it doesn't, then. I might, they said that I will be able to swap it for something else. I'm trying to do as much first person as I can. It's a bit like the ones that we're used to using in real life, especially on British farms. Oh, it's really good that. Well, we all know that they will be impressed with us. And just get a. I'm just. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bucket. Just use a tractor and bucket. Just because more time away spending around with that, the less time I'm going to get anything done. No. Oh, they've reset. Ah, oh, so maybe if I reset that, then. Hmm. I'll lease that because we're going to get more from bales anyway. I will then buy a bucket. Well, when I say a bucket, I'll just buy a standard 
doesn't get me yet in that. It's not ideal. I think I'm going to bring my friend up who has a real loader. He'll be able to come across into the farm and do it for me. So if I just put some extra weight on the front of this tractor. And I'm going to head out of here, keeping as much as I can to first person. But for, for stuff like this, I do like to, like to say third person's better. Especially when you know, don't know if it's actually going to work. So I'm thinking we should be over. I might con I probably will continue this episode as a live stream. One night will be on YouTube and there will be an possibly a night I do on Twitch. Right. This is, I forgot to be joking me. Right. Right, this is not right. Right, I think off camera I'm going to, or either in a live stream where I can sit and get them up, I'm going to do that field. I know we haven't done much in this episode, but I'm going to ring over, I'm going to go back to the farmhouse. And I'm going to ring my friend who has a wheel order and a bucket for this manure which it will probably be tomorrow when we're getting it sorted but that's fine because I can get a worker on that field so I will see you shortly Right, and so welcome back again. It's mo it's early autumn now, morning time. I did a few phone calls last night. I rang up my friend, um, called. I rang up my friend, who works at, at the sheep at the other sheep farm, and he does contracting jobs and things. He's called Miles. He does sort of a contracting jobs for us. So I'm, and this is kind of based on real life and not real life because I used to be a dairy farmer, so I know the ins and outs of farming. But I'm also learning FS ways as well. But it's very similar. So I am kind of role playing. So I, I've 
wrong him and he said that I can borrow it. I've had to pay an upfront cost to lease the machine but in return he'll come and do us harvesting for us which will be any time now and he said that we can he said we'll have to buy a silage fort which is ex understandable but he'll pick it up from the dealership last night for us and attach everything so the size fork is ours but then he said to me that I might as well use it to load us bales up as well which is nice so we will do we'll make the most of it we've got it for a day but he's coming over to do his harvesting when it's all time so I'm going to walk up there now and see what's what ah I know why I forgot a car in the road hello can we help you oh, he's not, he's not um I heard you an inspection just wondering the farm the cow farm is oh is it for is it for the dairy farm? Yes, yeah. Oh, that's me, that's me. Um, just, oh, I'll, I'll just jump in the pickup. Well, I'll just walk, start walking down if you like to follow. No, get in, get in, get in, it's fine. I can't be having you walking. Oh, thank you. Right, just turn left here. And this is all our farm, so both sides. Well, we on we're only being told that we need to look at the cow side. But s since it's both, then we will have to look at it all. Right. Do you want to park a on my on my drive, and then you're not in the way or anything? Right. Is it a busy farm, around here? Of course. Just told it's just one man. No, I do have workers on it, so I just don't want them to crash into your car or anything. Have you got paperwork for the workers? Um, yes, I've got all the documentation inside the house. Well, we'll just have to look at the paperwork if you want to bring it out to me. I'll just park here, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, you're, on, you're resting on here. I like your car. It's a littered Ford. It's a Ford F100. Oh, nice. So, those are the documentation for the workers, and those are the cow documentation. You, sh you said on the phone to us that you'll be leaving in a couple of days. Um, yes, I've not fully decided, but I will be moving to a different farm in approximately a weeks time a week to two weeks right um may, may i ask why you're filming um just because i'm vlogging so i'm doing a vlog for my viewers so they can see the experiences what farm farmers what farm life is all about basically is it is it okay to still film? Oh oh yeah 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 it's fine I just needed to know that's why. Right so I'll take you around the farm so I oh yeah yes yes I'll just get my notepad and pen and paper.
Right, and so we've got two grain silo silos here. Well, the storage barns, but there's nothing in them. We've got... Let me just take a quick look at my fields, because I might be able to call him in. No, I can't. So what? Is there anything in your silos? I've got all this written down on a piece of paper, so I'll just have to check. Yes, I've got plenty of my silos. Right. So... So is that being cleaned out recently before and those crops went in. Yes, it was all cleaned back in the spring. It's all been done. Is that is that a water tank? It's an old water tank, it doesn't work anymore. So it's all been blocked up and everything. Um, are those diesel cans or petrol cans? No, diesel, pe petrol, farm tractor fuel or water. Um, I think the water. As I say, I've moved on to this farm and some of these things were here like these. So I've not actually looked to see what they, if they were to do with anything. Well, I, I'll just, let me just get a cup, a glass. Oh, do you want me to get you one? I've got a spare one inside I use for water. But for spare water to go, to help wash the tractors away. Oh, is it? Is it like a soap, you put a soap in it? I've used it for, um, just, well, I've used it mainly for to put into the window wiper section of a tractor so I can wash my windows in my tractor. Right, um, I'll, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, you can go and get it. Right, I'll have to go up back. Just get him in. It's just down here. Yeah, it's definitely water. Right, thank thank you. So that's two more sheds. We've got a cedar in here and a baler. When was the last time you used this shed for crops? Or hasn't it been used? Never been used for crops. I don't know, as I say, I don't know if the previous farmer had it for crops, but we bought the farm, no crops in it. Right, that's all I need to know. Plowing there. Um, you know, rubble like this is. I'm going to have to take a few points off your certificate because you've got all this rubble lying around. Um, where would I take something like this? Because it's just it's being left to you. Well, sharp objects like that, you know, you can they can cause your cows some damage. I do know that, but the cows are always locked in at all times. Right. You can probably bring up a rubble site and ask them to remove it. Well, right, I'll get on to it probably this week. As, or so say, as soon as possible. With it being... Saturday today, not many places are working. Um, that's your equipment, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's all my equipment. We like the, your vintage car. Oh, thank you. I've kept it as a treasure. 
That's my harvest and that's my crops red rating. So is it the other farm then you've got? I've got my farm over here which is mainly my dairy side. Any chickens? No, I've never used a pasture. So... And I don't intend on using it before we go. As I say, we're only here for approximately two more weeks. It's a little small vintage farm really, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's got the vintage machines. Like the generator and things. That tractor, when was it last used? Because you know it's got a European hitch. Okay, what do you mean? Do you does that spin round, do you know, when you start it up? I think so, I've not looked at it. Just restart that up again because the start up noise doesn't sound right for a bolt Yeah, it shouldn't be doing that every time it starts. So you have to jump to start it a lot. Not recently I haven't, but I do jump start it quite a bit. Right, so yeah, it's not spinning, it's not showing any motions of spin. Which is saying that this track is not safe on the road, it needs to go up to the repair shop. Right. So when do you advise me to do that? Well, as soon as possible, really. I'll let you have a look around my feeding area. I'll be just out here when you need me. Oh God, I'm going to put my seed out. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure so these cows have got everything. Which they look to have. I'm going to go across there and I'm going to get the Bob's cat that he was on about for this manure and I'll just let him know that I'm just going to be gone for a couple of minutes. Let me go and find him. Oh, you're here. Um, I'm just inspecting your milk. Your cows don't use milk at the moment, do they? No, they haven't started producing milk yet, but in the next couple of months, if we're still here, they will be doing. So, I... I got a phone call. Not a phone call to go and pick up a bobcat. Will it be okay if I go and get it? Um, yes, certainly. I'll probably be finished my checks, but... I will be still here. So, yeah. Right, thank you. I'll just have to walk up the road and get it. Hanging by a thread Hung up on all the words you said Breaking I need to go and find my mate Miles with his bot. Oh, yes. Let me just go and speak to him. Oh, hello, hello Miles. Um, we are loaded. I'm going to take it. I'll be bringing it back about 10 or something. I've just got the inspector, inspector around so it might be longer than necessary. The manure will be up in such a jiggle. The straw bales might take me a bit longer. But I 
I will get things sorted and I'll get it back to you at before 12. So I'll see you soon. Thank you, thank you for letting me borrow it again. And I've paid, Anta. You've paid, yes. Oh. It's a fancy machine, is this? It's like I've tried to realistically roleplay this with the one that I had in real life when I was doing my salvage work. Which is exactly the same to the ones I used. So I'm just taking this back to the farm. I have to drive properly, you see. I wonder where this inspector's at. Oh, he's up there on the hills. He must be enjoying his time here. Wonder if he wants to work here full time. So I'm going to do this job myself. Hopefully harvest comes sooner as possible, really. I would like to get harvesting today, really. But it looks like... It wants to play with me this harvest. The thing is, it always switch off to a password, but I know the password. I just won't be telling any of my viewers it. Not the exit, please. I wonder if it's not really good silage. No, they do need it, so I guess they will take it. Just 
So I did say that we can keep it for if we need it again. And now I need to go and get a bale spike. So I'm going to get one delivered to the farm for us. Actually, I wonder if they do. Um, it may do it. If it may do it. Possibly. Uh, wonder if it'll attach to my dolly. As I say, I'm trying to do things in first person. Yes. So, I will leave until I get a call. A call from this worker. And as soon as we've had the call, I'll probably end the episode, continue on a bit of a live stream, and that will be it. If it's not ready for harvest by the next episode, that field. then I will probably have to leave. But I will try and wait for it. Right, I'm just going to stack these first few bales on the trailer. Right, I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to sort that out. Probably in a live stream or something where we've got more time. Right, I'm going to get back to the farm, see what the inspector's doing. I don't know why I closed that gate. Right. 
Ah, he's here. Alright, I've just finished my checks and I will be heading off now. Um, I'll just pass you the paperwork. Um, could you just start up this tractor? I'd like to see it working with this trailer on the back. Yes. Let me make sure. Do you have any problem starting? No, I'm, no, I'm just check, just making sure things are hooked up right. <laughs> right, that trailer's that tractor and trailer's working fine. So I'm gonna have to come back before you leave the farm. Um, if you just take this one out, because you can't, you can't leave it in here because it's leaking oil. Oh, where they? I just went for the bar take a couple of months ago. Where did you buy it from? Up at the dealership. They had it shipped in. If you look underneath... Oh, look. Okay. There's... I don't know. Have you got any oil in it at all? Where's it been recently? It went up to the dealership to the surface. Yesterday, actually. Right, look underneath. There's a hole in your can. There's nothing in it. Right. So that means that field of oats up there that I came down that path, that'll be wasted then. If you came through... I'll just show you my map that I've got. came down this track here. Down the first track, yes. Right, all the oats that are in the middle are now gone. You need to scrap them, you can't sell them. You just have to plough it up or something. Right. Right, that's fine. I need you to get this out, and I need you to get this to the dealership today. So I've phoned the dealership, and I've told them that you're bringing this up to sell. Right. just unload everything. So you need to, you'll have to clean the yard up, but you'll have to just park it. Inspect this sat down there. You have to just park it somewhere where you don't use as often. Well, I can just put it. Round the back. Sold and stuff when I'll probably leave the farm, but it'll be staying down there now. And if you've enjoyed this episode, please make sure you subscribe. And let me know in the comments section what you think of the roleplay. And I will continue this in a, probably a live stream where we just wrap up everything. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.